Jane's asking a question that makes me nervous, okay? She said, is there a less expensive way to have it removed? And I think Jane's talking about mold in her house. And when you're looking for deals for mold removal, you're gonna find them. You're gonna find handymen, you're gonna find contractors, you're gonna have, you're gonna find people who will accept that job because they don't understand anything about mold. They are not IICR CS520 certified. They don't know about containment. They don't know about negative air pressure. And what in the world is an air scrubber, they say. Okay, so be very careful when you're looking for someone to remediate the home. Um, you do know that proper remediation is about removal. If you've got someone that's gonna come do a remediation free fog to fix the problem, that does not exist. Fogging's fine, but it doesn't replace remediation. It's a band-aid to lower toxicity until you get that effective material out. But uh, make sure you're finding someone who's certified. Make sure if they have uh, past customers you can call, that would be wonderful. References, that's the word I'm looking for. If they have references, that would be wonderful. You need someone that understands mold how to do it properly, what the guidelines are, and that also understands how mold affects the body. Because I have, I have so many horror stories of remediation companies that come in, know nothing about mold, do nothing that aligns with common sense, and ends up making the family sicker because they did absolutely stupid things. For example, I've got, this one comes right to mind when I say that, uh, a mold remediation company um, went to a couple's home, was remediating in the basement, didn't hook the, hook the uh, air scrubber, didn't run the plastic sleeve to the window for exhaust, shot it in the basement. So yeah, it's still going through a filter, but that doesn't remove everything. So they literally shot it the whole time into the basement. The lady called the, the owner of the company thinking maybe these fellas just didn't know and he just saw no, no reason to shoot it out the window. Okay. So even companies that market themselves as mold remediation companies sometimes still have no clue. It's disgusting. It's immoral. It should be criminal because they're ruining people's lives. People are paying a lot of money to have this work done. Then they're literally making them sicker. So that's my warning, Jane. I'm sorry. That was a bit of a rant, but when you're looking for savings, there's nothing wrong with looking for savings. Nobody wants to pay more than they have to pay. You just have to do your due diligence to make sure the company understands, is certified, understands proper processes, and is actually going to do it and you have everything in writing. Because if they make your home worse, they didn't follow proper procedures, take pictures, video, whatever, so you have a, a, a paper trail. But uh, just be careful. It's a crazy, it's a wild, wild west in the mold world. Anyway, I hope that helps, Jane. Do you have questions about mold in your home or body? Book a consultation with Matt, a.k.a. The Mold Man, to guide your home and body to the next level of healing. 